Uh, hi, Mo. Uh, breath has finished there. Uh, are you relieved to get over the line with any nerves? The list was the end. Um, obviously, the game was done with, with three balls to go, but uh, with, with Shepard still in and the way the, the way the bat all the way down, you're never quite um, over the line in terms of you actually to the last ball, really. But um, yeah, obviously glad to get the win, but we, we could do a lot of things better. Um, but it's, it's a, it's, it is a learning process as well for the best. Uh, you and Adol put the brakes on the windies in the middle periods. Um, you obviously had an important contribution with the bat as well. Um, you, you know, how, how do you think you were doing out there? Do you, do you enjoy like um, playing important all round role? I do, yeah. I mean, obviously, given the opportunity to bat the order, and um, I actually felt not great. It wasn't an easy wicket. I thought Jason was going well. I just tried to build a partnership, got away with a couple of things, uh, a couple of drop catches and stuff, but. It was just nice to contribute, I guess. Um, it was a difficult weekend. I thought we, we scored over par, but um, it just shows with, with the power that they have. You're, you're never quite <coughs> win the game into this over, but yeah, it's nice to contribute and put in a performance like that. I mean, you obviously dominated the game for large spells, but the way the match finished, did, did they have the whip hand or can they take something from the defeat? Yeah, of course. I mean, they, they fought all the way through and it gives a lot of confidence when you when you bat so deep and that's what they do. Uh, so they, they can take a lot of positives out of it, uh, but so can we really. And we know we haven't even played that well there and we, we still won the game. So there's a lot for the guys to learn. A lot of guys are new. I thought Topley was outstanding today. and um, I thought he, he deserves a special mention with the way he bowled up front and that over at the end. Thanks, sir. Someone else want to jump in? <laughs> Mo, hi. Um, how, how sort of um, crucial would it be for guys to hold their nerves you think, during the, this series, given what you've seen from West Indies? Will that be a, a vital aspect of, of the matches going forward? Yeah, definitely. And I think the great thing about today is, even though they were 50 for five, six, seven down for not many runs, they are never quite out of the game, and they're such a dangerous team with with players. I know they have they've um, a lot of older players have retired and stuff, but they've got so much talent, um, so much power. Uh, the fact that they bat all the way down to number ten uh, makes them extremely dangerous. Even in the situation where we thought we we're probably going to cruise that game in the end, but for them to lose by one run or whatever it was, it's um, it's actually quite scary. Their batting lineup is very scary. Uh, what what did Owen say after yesterday the performance to you? What, did, what was the sort of message to you? Just to learn from uh, the wicket. We, we obviously the wickets are not easy here, and just to come with a plan on how we're going to bat. And I thought we did that today. <coughs> I thought we bowled well yesterday, um, and bowled well for most of the game today. But um, all we just you know be positive, keep coming hard, be positive, take the aggressive option, but also learn. Uh, how we're going to battle these wickets because we, we do stumble on these type of wickets a lot um, and this is one area that we want to work on so the, the batting was was uh, better today I thought it was a very good score on this wicket There seems to be quite a big response from the senior guys yourself Adil Jason Roy Chris Jordan with the bat uh, I mean it, it seems to be that they're still driving this team forward because obviously you've got major players missing Yeah and, and with, with such I think, in my opinion, great players missing, guys who perform all the time almost. Uh, we, we have to kind of step up and show our experience and uh, lead from the front, I guess. And that's what more of the captain wants from us. And um, we have to obviously do that with the guys who haven't played much. Then they can watch, learn, and also try and perform as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think the senior players have to step up and... Uh, in, in the series like this for us to compete and, and win the series. Thank you. Mo, <laughs> who, who takes uh, momentum into Wednesday now? I think the fact that we won um, is obviously we, we we do, if we were 2-0 down, then certainly they would be taking all of the momentum. But I think both teams will be pretty happy so we know we can play better. Um, and they, they know that they really put us under pressure today, particularly at the end.
but also for most part of the game, we dominated that game. So uh, they can take a lot of positives and confidence from today. But also we, we did win the game and we didn't play well. So they would be also very wary that we are going to try and play better and perform better. So um, I think both teams are very equal. I actually think it's going to be a very tight series. <laughs> I'm all, um, yeah, I'm all, just picking up from what um, Richard was saying earlier about being one of the senior players. Yeah. How important do you think that sort of experience is for someone like Sakib Mahmoud there? Yeah, I mean, he would he would learn a, a hell of a lot today. I, mean, <laughs> I think um, he's he's still young, he's still finding his way. I mean, he's been in and around the squad after bowling so well in the summer in England. Um, it just shows in different conditions you've got to ball differently and I'm sure he'll be thinking about things that he can improve on um, but he's got so much talent and I think someone like him um, you've got to go through this to get better and I'm sure he'll be taking this as a as a lesson and uh, hopefully he can learn from it but he's got so much um, ability that is hopefully um I always believe it's good sometimes for a young batsman to fail a little bit and a young bowler to to get hit because you can only learn from that and um, I'm sure he's going to do that. <laughs> and have you had a chance to speak to him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just spoke to him earlier and said, you know, just whatever you do, just try and be a bit more clear about things and these things happen. Every single one of us who's experienced this team has gone through the same thing, so um, it's a learning curve and Try and learn from it. Last one, Phil, because we're going to catch our bus, okay? Mo, you, you mentioned about uh, Reese Toffley. What was it like on the field during those first three overs he bowled when he was causing no end of trouble? And what's it like facing him in the nets as well? Um, he's, I was at Slip, so I had the best view, and he was whooping it today. And <coughs> when he's swinging it like that, he's, um, he's a handful, particularly to left handers. And right handers, um, but it was awesome today. I thought <laughs> the way he set the tone, he was um, awesome to watch. So, yeah, and in the nets, I haven't faced him much in the nets. I've only played him a couple of times and I've got a hold of it, so it's not too bad. <laughs>